to one of our favourite properties and Ben has found some new rock ledges to torture us with. And there's plenty of chance to warm up along this tight gully. Normally I just plod along at the back of the pack, but I figured I would try and stay with Ben, who tends to fly through this stuff now with all the training he has done on these tracks. One thing surprises me though, as you speed up, some of this terrain becomes easier. The suspension is absorbing the impact. And now we are coming up to the first nasty rock ledge. A pro rider would probably do all of this without stopping, but we are breaking it into four sections. First, we have to squeeze between these two rocks, then go up three rock ledges that are awkwardly spaced apart. Ben does a static balance on the first one just for practice. Ben uses a rock against the rear wheel to make static balancing easy. And next is the static zap. Ben will lean back, throw his weight forward at the critical moment, initially to weight the rear wheel, then stop the bike from flipping. Wow. Good work, mate. Nothing fancy for me on this first ledge. I just sit on the bike and seat bounce to get through. Unlike Ben, I don't static balance, which will mean less drive. And I don't commit enough due to the fear of flipping the bike. <laughs> Nowhere near enough force. Uh. <laughs> I'd take the wimp's way out. Uh, nah, bugger it mate, sorry I'll cheat, yeah. Pull it her up. Thanks mate. And go for your crotch. Yeah. It would be a fun section to practice on, but I live in fear of tweaking this dodgy knee before these upcoming trips to Romania and Canada. Unlike Ben, the fearless primate, If we're very quiet, we'll see one of the most spectacular things you can find in the forest, the cross-training primate. If we're very, oh, he may have spotted us. Oh, oh. They can be quite aggressive. But, oh. 